Yeah, hi, I'm Paul Dickinson. I'm the Director of Business Development for Duraline, and I'm also the Chairman of the Board of the Fiber Optic Sensing Association. So we're very excited to be here as a charter organization of Fiber Broadband Association, uh, basically talking about a new way to use optical fiber other than Broadcom and Datacom. Uh, at the Fiber Broadband Association, you know, there's a big push for uh, building out new infrastructure, reducing the digital divide. What we're excited to do is we're excited to show the industry what else optical fiber can be used for above and beyond Broadcom and Datacom. So it's really revolutionary. This technology has been around for a couple decades, but only now is it coming into the foray of being used for telecom, transportation, and utilities. So in this proof of concept, what we basically have is a demonstration with a couple of our member companies, uh, Luna and Underline, who have brought together an optical fiber network and have uh, used electronics on it to demonstrate this technology. Now let me start by telling you how an optical fiber network is basically built. It starts with using conduit like this, come from a pairing company like Duraline, with optical fiber cable inside of it. That in and of itself makes it smart. But to make an infrastructure truly smart, you want to do more than just Broadcom and Datacom. You want to use it for other purposes. So we're all about using it for multi-purposes. This demonstration talks about right-of-way damage protection. And this was done actually at the Purdue Research Foundation, which is in West Lafayette, Indiana, on Duraline conduit with fiber cable. And using Luna Innovations equipment, we're able to actually monitor an actual fiber route that normally would be used for Broadcom and Datacom for an entirely other purpose. So what we have here is we have a camera, and the camera is pointing at a spot on the street where we're going to see in a, in a few seconds somebody walk up and make a few iterations around the manhole and around the fiber. The magic of this technology is by using the same fiber that you would normally use for a telecom network, you're able to identify on a map what's happening at a given point in time within several meters and actually classify what's happening. So in this particular case, you have someone walking around a manhole and in this point in time, he's kicking. He's simulating someone using construction equipment or with a shovel. On this particular map, you have acoustic energy being demonstrated that's being translated right into the fiber through the conduit. And you're gonna end up getting an alert on the map showing you where it's occurring and which is able to be used and sent out to people to respond with respect to the activity that's occurring. Next, we're gonna have a person who's grabbing onto the manhole. Maybe it's sanctioned activity, maybe it's not. As he's sliding open the manhole, you also see that recorded by the vibrations in the fiber and an alert once again is indicated that someone is in the manhole and actually is touching the fiber. So this has tremendous implications from an operational maintenance standpoint, from a damage protection standpoint, standpoint and from a security perspective. Uh, so that, that's really what we're showing here. And this is just scratching the surface. On this screen over here, which you may or may not be able to see with your camera, you can monitor trains, you can monitor a wide variety, everything from oil and gas pipelines to perimeter border security to, uh, to uh, bridges, uh, roads. It's, it's really amazing. And the fact that we have such a plethora of optical fiber and conduit in the world right now in the ground, and we're about to undergo a very large build going forward, means that we have the opportunity in our hands right now to be able to leverage this in a way where all of these pathways that are being used for normal broadband capabilities can now be used for an entirely different business purpose. So that's what we're here to talk about today. Very excited about it. We did a panel presentation yesterday, and I encourage you to reach out to the Fiber Optic Sensing Association to learn more. Thank you very much.